Hello, my name is Musei Yelien. I'm an illustrator, designer, and writer based in Wa, but I'm from Kaleo. I studied publishing studies at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, and I majored in design and illustration. Since I was a kid, I was always interested in the arts, so I found myself always drawing, watching cartoons, and engaging in creative endeavors. So I had the chance to go to KNUSD to learn a creative course, and it was there that I saw that there were a lot of possibilities in the creative industry. I chose the Lubuke Foundation Residency Program because of its availability in my local and for the fact that they are committed in researching and in documenting the practices and traditions of local weavers, which I'm also interested in. The inspiration came from the idea that we need to store our traditions. So meeting the weavers and talking to them gave me that inspiration to tell the story. For the period of the one month residency, I used one week for research to know more about the traditions. And then I used about three weeks to work on the illustrations themselves. So interacting with the weavers was easy for me because I'm, na I'm a native. Because I was able to speak the Dagari or the Wali language, it was easy for me to ask them questions and I go to understand them clearer, understand the nuances behind what they, they do. And they were excited in having someone interested in their works. I chose Karim Mahama, popularly known as the Boya Man, because he has been in the weaving industry for a very long time and he has a wealth of cultural knowledge which has informed um, two of the artworks that I was able to do. For Charlotte, she came from Benin and it was interesting to know that people from all over West Africa engage in weaving. And I was generally interested in the story she had to tell about how she came here and how the practice goes. For the residency program, I learned a lot of things. For example, I learned that the way people wear their hats in a gathering or their traditional hats, they all have meanings. And then I learned some other processes involved in the weaving, which I had not known before. I would like to tell the foundation that I'm very grateful for them having me here over a one month period and I'm happy that they've given me the opportunity to share my ideas and to collaborate with the local weavers and I hope that as an organization they'll keep on bringing programs like this to help artists and artisans show their work to the world. Thank you.